Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So today I just kind of have random thoughts that I want to spill out to you guys and um, just kind of things that I've realized in the past couple days and etc. So as most of you know or those of you who follow my channel, you know that currently um, the, me and those in my book club are reading this book. Um, and I just took the cover off of it while I'm reading it, but, um, I was reading it, um, you know, I'm just reading it as the days go on, and there's a couple things that so far, like, stuck with me really well, and I wanted to share it with you guys. It, it, like, confused me, but also made sense. I'll explain what I mean by that right now. Basically, what is this book so far has been saying, um, and I'm not gonna skip ahead to those of you who are still not that far along, but it's basically a feedback loop of hell, is what this book is saying. And what they mean by that, um, is that the desire for more positive experiences is itself a negative experience. The acceptance of one's negative experience in itself is a positive experience. So... This is why it confused me, which it even says in the book, like, I'm going to unpretzel your brain and say it again. Wanting a more positive experience is a negative ex experience. Accepting negative experience is a positive experience. And um, what he was saying is this guy named Alan Watts used to refer to it as the backwards law. And basically what it's saying is when you're, you're desperately trying to become something else in your life you are looking so you're looking for so many positive um positive things that you're making your life seem negative and basically it's saying you know your desire to be really really sexy and to try to be more sexier is making making you think that you're uglier if that makes any sense and basically it was saying the more desperately you want to be happy and loved, the lonely and more afraid you become, regardless of those who surround you. You will never be happy if you continue to search for what happiness consists of. You will never live if you are looking for the meaning of life. Or to put it more simply, don't try. So basically, um, you know, it's kind of how people say, like, when you're not looking for love or you're not looking for a relationship, that's when it comes. Because, you know, when you're constantly, which I'm one of these people, I'm constantly searching like how to be a better person. I'm constantly, you know, reading, you know, self-help books and things like that, which I'm doing that because yes, I want to be more positive and I want to be, you know, <clears throat> I want to be a better person. But I do get how they're saying that that means that I'm focusing on all the negative in my life and all the things I need to change, which at the end of the day makes you a more negative person negative experiences and so <clears throat> I read this and I had to stop reading because I had to ask myself does everything I'm doing in life then to better myself does that mean that that's negative like it was so hard because now you can go so far along with with saying that as in, okay, so every time I'm working out or every time I'm trying to like become skinnier, I'm focusing on me being fatter, which is true. It's really screwing me up about it is that, you know, I'm always reading, you know, these self-help books and I'm always like, you know, trying to better myself and is that subconsciously making me like feel worse about myself and it's now it's just like my mind is blown because I'm like, I want to, I want to focus on getting better and I want to focus on like helping people and I want to focus on so many different things, but I'm just like blown away by the fact that by me trying to do this stuff, I am maybe just making my life worse. I don't know. So I think... Obviously, I need to finish the book, so maybe it'll give you me better answers of what the heck. It's a sickness that'll eat you alive, that every day, you know, you're trying to change who you are, and you're always looking for 
better, better, more, more, more. And it's like, when do you stop and just be okay with how your life is? But at the same time, I always, I always think there's room for improvement. Like, even if you are 100% the perfect person, which is impossible, like, there's always a way to better yourself. I feel like if you think that, you don't need any, like, anything, you don't need any changes, or you're just perfect, and you think that everything's great, I feel like maybe then you're being, like, cocky and naive about it. Does that make sense? Like, I'm, I wanted to discuss it because I want to know what everybody else thinks. I mean... For those people who are reading this book or have read it, like, I'm referring to, you know, like, the first couple chapters, you know, where the feedback loop is, the feedback loop from hell, you know, I'm just, the feedback loop from hell has become a borderline epidemic, making many of us overly stressed, overly neurotic, and overly self-loathing. Back in Grandpa's day, he would feel like shit and think to himself, gee whiz, I sure do feel like a cow turd today, but hey, I guess it's just life, back to shoveling hay. But now, if you even feel like shit for, if you feel like shit for even five minutes, you're bombarded with 350 images of people totally happy and having amazing fucking lives, and it's impossible to not feel like there's something wrong with you. And that's where we get into this pattern of pretending and seeing like you know Instagram things like that most people show their happy moments and it's hard for you when you're in the moment when you're scrolling through thinking look at all these happy people and I am not happy and that makes you even feel worse about yourself that makes you feel 20 times worse and like I'm guilty of it also and ah we, and then we feel bad about feeling bad. We are guilty for feeling guilty. We get angry about being angry. We get ang anxious about feeling anxious. What is wrong with me? This is why not giving a fuck is so key. This is why it's going to save the world. But not giving a fuck that you feel bad, you short circuit the feedback loop from hell. You say to yourself, I feel like shit, but who gives a fuck? And then, as if sprinkled by magic fuck giving fairy dust, you stop hating yourself for feeling so bad. Chances are you've engaged in it more than a few times, being the feedback loop from hell. Maybe you're engaging in it right now. God, I do the feedback loop all the time. I'm such a loser for doing it. I should stop. Oh my God, I feel like such a loser for calling myself a loser. I should stop calling myself a loser. Aw, oh, fuck, I'm doing it again. See, I'm a loser. Ugh. Like, it's just like this cycle of feeling negative or feeling like you're trapped or feeling like you're not good enough and sometimes when you feel not good enough people just quit trying at all because they feel like there's no out and you know that's when people get into a lot of ish more serious issues than just like being depressed and sitting on the couch this is where you know people go off and do even worse things because they feel like that's all they're worth or that's all they can get and that is such a mind fuckery I mean I guess I might as well swear I'm just reading this whole book so sorry um but it's just I, I I'm honestly blown right now my mind is blown away like I I get it like it totally makes sense I'm just confused um like when when do you just give a fuck and when is like when is not giving a fuck good for you and when is not giving a fuck making you an asshole and making you like a worse person like i said i know that probably finishing the book is probably gonna you know whatever but i'm telling you guys this so far has been the best book i have read for literally opening your eyes to things like and i mean i know we just started this book club and but i'm trying to tell you like if you have not read this book you need to read this book i basically just want to say that as of now, I think that still trying to like better yourself and like read and you know do positive things, I get what they're saying where you know it can be a negative thing because then all you're focusing on is like the crappiness in your life and that you could you know subconsciously be making yourself worse. But at the same time, it's hard because I do feel like you still do need to give a fuck about stuff. You still need to care. You still need to be like a good, kind person. And I'm not saying that the book is telling me that I should be a shitty person. But I guess I'm just trying to say that 
I still think it's okay to try to better yourself and I still think it's okay to do things that are empowering to you and make you feel better. Okay, she's so black you can't even see her. Willow, you're so black. You blend in. I guess my point at the end of the day is do whatever feels good to you. Like, do whatever you think is helping you and improving your life and just worry about... I feel like like reading these positive things is making me a better person so that I can be a better person all around. Perfectly okay that we want to, you know, keep changing, adjusting, and improving. Okay, thank you so much for watching today's video. I know it was a ramble. I literally want to know what you guys think. For those of you who are reading this book or just like, you know, kind of what I've read from the book, I kind of want to know what you guys think because... I literally was like bookmarked this page. I'm like, I need to film about this because I need to know what like other people think about it because it's, ah! So feel free if you have any thoughts or ideas to comment them down below. Otherwise, um, you know, if you're reading the book, like I said, don't forget you can use the hashtag soft covers with K on Instagram or anything like that so I can find you. Um, but if you have not started this book, I seriously... I, this has been my favorite self-improvement book so far yet, so I will leave a link in the description box below um, if you need to purchase it, but I highly, highly recommend it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and subscribe to my channel if you have not. Um, that really helps my channel grow, and I would greatly appreciate it. Um, but thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye.